Today I have a really nice trick how you can buy a VR gaming PC for your budget. For example, you know that you have uh, like 700 euro or dollars, but you have no idea what you should buy with that, how, what components you should buy for your gaming PC. Yeah? So this is a really nice trick. Um, for example, for the MetaQuest 3 or any other VR headset like the Pimax or so. So I will show this to you in this video. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DEVR. Thank you to my sponsors Woodlose VR, Opperman Events and Virtual Escape. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Voodoo.de Okay guys, and here we are. And now you will pop probably think, what the heck, he's showing a website, where's the trick? Yes guys, this website is the trick. This I used for many years now and I thought, why should I not show it to you? And this page is called Logical Increments. And this is a really nice page for people that want to build their own PC, gaming PC, office PC or, or whatever. And they have no idea which hardware parts fit together. Yeah? And this is what this page is meant about and also for your budget. So what you're gonna do first, choose your country. Let's go for United States here. And then you have a huge list of PC components. So what you're gonna do now is consider what budget you have. How much money will you spend or do you want to spend or can you spend on a VR gaming PC? Let's talk about, uh, let's go for $1,500 first. So we check in the list here, 1,000, 1,100, blah, blah, blah. 1,700 is too expensive. So this one, yeah, $1,449. So open it here. And now you will see a lot of components and also compatibilities. So here VR gaming is green. So this PC is great for VR gaming. So and after that, when you scroll down, you will see all the components. Yeah. Um, also with some different. So always the first row here and the first example is correspondent to the 1,449 to the price that is here. So this one. So for example, in this case, we have an ASRock Radeon RX 7800 XT for 500 bucks. If you want to spend a little bit more, you can also go for this one. Yeah, you have three examples here. Then the next is the CPU. For example, here you have the Core i5, 13,600 KF, yeah, that you can buy for $286. The next one is a cooler that you of course need as well with three different examples. And the cool thing here is all the components that you can see here in, in this case or in another case, they fit together. There is no bottleneck so that one component is too strong or too uh, or not, to, not strong enough or something like that. So they fit together and this is the cool thing on this page. Yeah, the next one is the main board. If you prefer MSI, go for MSI or Gigabyte or ASRock. Yeah? Then the next one is uh, a RAM. Yeah? Or then an HDD or SSD. F to be honest, I never use an HDD anymore. I only use SSD. You can, do, you can build in both, of course. Then we need a power supply three different uh, cases here and uh, the three different um, power supplies and the case. Yeah, of course, if you want a case, you need a case, of course, then you, you can also buy it. And this is so cool. Yeah, this is really amazing and you can hide it again. And for example, if you want a, a lower budget, let's check out uh, the, the lowest one here. But here you can see everything is red. So VR gaming is red. It, it doesn't make much sense to build this gaming PC, uh, this PC for uh, uh, use of VR. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. But if you want uh, just an office PC, you can build this one yeah, for $265. That's cool. Let's go down a little bit. For example, here, 750 bucks. And here you can see VR gaming is uh, available. Yeah, it's, it's uh, uh, orange, that's fine. You, you will not be able, of course, to play these high-end games like the flight simulator in the highest resolution. It will run, uh, but not uh, at the highest resolution. You have to low, lower the graphics. But then 
look at this. You get for 750 bucks here the uh, the GPU and an Intel GPU, or you can choose the RX 6600, the Intel Core i5. Uh, here um, the, the cooler on uh, ASRock mainboard, RAM uh, and the HDD or SSD um, power supply and also the case again. That's cool. Uh, that's much cheaper than the other one. But if you want to have the strongest PC, scroll all the way down. <laughs> and this is the monstrous. This is what I have at the moment. Uh, not exactly this one, but I have this one here. Uh, I have the um, Intel Core i9 14900K, this one here, yeah, that's uh, really strong. And uh, then I have this cool, uh, this cooler, I think the Arctic. Then I have the um, this one here. Then I have uh, this RAM. Uh, then I have the Samsung 990 Pro, 4 terabyte SSD. Then I have the uh, this one here, the Corsair 1000 watt uh, power supply and I think a dark base. Uh, I will put my uh, configuration in the description below. So yeah, if you have this ga gaming PC, then you can play everything in full resolution and even the flight simulator and high details and so on. So it depends on your budget. This is $3,788. Um, and yeah, guys, if you decide for one of those uh, yeah, components. Please, guys, uh, do me a favor and support me a little bit for free. So go via my um, Amazon link that you can find in the description and the first pin comment. This is the uh, common uh, um, Amazon link. When you go via this link, everything you buy on Amazon, you can support me for free. So what you're gonna do is copy this and then go to via my Amazon link, paste it there, and then you, you can buy it and support me. But I will also put three different combinations in the description below that you can just click the link. Yeah, That would be really awesome if you could do that for me and support me a little bit. So this page is absolutely awesome for people that have no idea about that they want to build a PC, a gaming PC, but they have no idea about the com components that fit together. So uh, even I, 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 I'm not the, the perfect hardware pro what PC belongs, yeah? But I, I had to learn that I need, for example, a, a Z780 uh, for the 1490K, uh, or uh, 690 uh, was also uh, possible, 790, 690. And uh, yeah, you can learn that a little bit, what fits together here, yeah? So for example, of course, it doesn't make sense to buy uh, uh, this, this graphic card here, the RX 550, together with a, a 14,900K CPU. That doesn't make sense, because then the graphics card is the bottleneck, of course. So stay in the row. Yeah, for your budget, check out your budget, your money, and uh, then buy the components that are in the same row here. Yeah, that that's really nice, a really nice page, and that's my trick how I buy my gaming hardware. What do you think about that? Do you already know that? Uh, if not, would you use that? And what gaming PC will you buy? or office PC or whatever PC. Write it in the comments below and also post your configuration. That's also very interesting for me. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya.